I am here with a very familiar face, Christy Arnett, Yay. who used to have my job before yeah, she started too. her own vlog and your own empire, poker empire, really. How's it going? Oh man, well first of all, thank you. And it is still awkward to be on this side of the mic. Like I wanna like grab it and be like, Sasha, how's your summer going? <laughs> but um, my summer has been crazy. I started this vlog with this idea that I wanted to document the summer. And I think that in general, it's really easy to be like all out there, go-getter when things are going well. And I just didn't expect it to go this bad. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm already, I'm, I'm filming and I wanted it to be real. And so I cashed my very first event, min cashed, and then went oh for like nine or 10. So we're here in the ladies event trying to turn it around. But you've been playing cash and doing well in cash. That's true, yes, yes. Thank goodness for cash. I've been working really hard on my game and it's been a lot of fun. But what I really want with this vlog, if there's anything that I can at least be showing people, is that despite the pain, it's worth going for. I'm having a blast this summer. I've gotten to meet some really cool people and get to talk to you about risk. And um, so I'm having, a, I'm having actually a, a really good time for whiffing all the time. Well, I guess it's sort of, that sort of answers my next question. If you're doing so well in cash and you are crushing these games and moving up blind levels, why play the tournaments? Is it for the risk for sort of going for that number one glory? Well, for sure I want the glory. Listen, I have a tiger mom who like wants the hardware and like the glory for sure. I want the glory. And that's something that I took a long time for me to admit. The truth is I really want a bracelet. I want the recognition. I want my permanent place in poker history because poker has been really important to me for a long time. But I do love cash games and also at the beginning of the summer I sold a package. So there's a lot of people who have invested in me and so when I'm not in the tournaments I'm grinding cash and learning and so it's been, you know, I'm not going to abandon my, my package but um, I, let's be honest, I want the glory. Yeah, you want that? I mean, World Series of Poker Bracelet is just really the biggest win you can have. You know, WPTs are amazing, EPTs are amazing, but it's like when you're a World Series of Poker champion, yes. it has a different... Yes. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, definitely. And I've been watching the World Series as a fan forever. And I have been here every single year for the last, you know, 14 years. And that's what I want. I want the gold. So when we were talking about this earlier, when I first saw you at the beginning of the World Series, you're sort of wandering around, you had filmed for three days and just scrapped it all and you're like, I don't like it, I don't want that in the vlog. What has changed your sort of direction? How do you choose what to put or not put in the vlog? The vlog? Right, so the first three days when I saw you, I'd filmed and edited for like two days straight. And what was missing was I was forcing it. What I want in every single vlog is honesty, is just what's real, and um, and I want to make an impact. I want to make a difference. And so from now on, I want to just tell what's going on, but also any lessons that I've learned, because I want at least, whether it's the pain or the glory, to be to inspire people, really, to take risks, yeah, and to take risks because if there's anything that I could say or impart in this lifetime, it's that you will, will always regret the things you don't go for rather than the things you do, even if you fail. So that's that's what I'm trying to do with it. I missed my chance with Prince Harry. I really should have gone for him, oh, taking yeah. that risk. <laughs> Come on, Sasha, what the hell? God damn it. <laughs> I do, see, I do regret that, you're right. <laughs> um, so lastly, you've gotten so much good feedback from people all over the industry. Is there, oh, <laughs> we're in the way. It so happens much, all the time. I love that. It's real. So we've gotten so much good feedback from people in the industry, like Adam Pliska, all these people. Do you pay attention to it? Or do you try to like just not pay attention and just keep doing what you're doing? Here's the thing. I'm human. I read the comments. And as much as I wish I could just focus on the good ones, the bad ones hurt sometimes. But I... But then I ask myself, whose opinion do I care about the most? And people like Adam Pliska or you or the people who like I care about the most are the ones who have given really good feedback. So I'm just focusing on that. Great. Yeah. Well, that's a healthy and honest answer because I read all the comments too. I don't get upset though. They're hilarious. So uh, keep okay. them going. You keep, like, doesn't it just for a second you're like, oh, I want to just like punch you in the face. But then get over it or not even that? No, not even that because there's like a lot of like, 
cunt in other words. And I'm like, oh, that's just, just, just my I name. Know, I'm like, right? oh, well, not very original, but totally. entertaining. Totally, Thank totally. You. Right. Thank you so well, much. Well, of course, and a good luck. We're about to get started, so good luck to you in the latest event. Thank you so much. Of course. Stay tuned. PokerNews.com.